Now we're headed to Atlanta to meet a rising star in girls basketball. The last name Brown is a pretty common one, but in Jenna Brown's case, it's a famous one. Her grandfather, Herb Brown, spent 55 years in coaching, including stops in the NBA, college, and overseas. Herb's brother, Larry Brown, is a Hall of Famer and one of the most decorated coaches in basketball history. He's the only coach to win both an NCAA and NBA championship. So basketball is always a topic of conversation in Jenna's family. It's huge. Every night, especially during like the NBA season, like it's on. Always talking about it at the dinner table in the car. We talk it ad nauseum, you know, um, you know the, in the house. It's uh, my wife, is, you know, is like, uh, can we not talk about basketball today? You know, so it's definitely a big part of our lives. While Larry and Herb Brown are the more famous members of her family, Jenna's greatest basketball influence growing up was by far her older sister, Taylor, who played collegiately at Princeton. I really look up to my sister. And just kind of watching her play, like, from a really young age, I just knew that's what I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to emulate everything that she did. And just, like, watching games, like, with my dad, it was always just fun for me. I've learned so much from my sister. Whether she realizes she's teaching me or not, like, she's just taught me so much. Jenna's made Taylor and the rest of her family very proud as she's grown up. She's developed into one of the best high school players in the nation. Now a senior at the Lovett School in Marietta, Georgia, Jenna's passion for the game is as strong as it's ever been. I wouldn't really say a lot has changed and, and that's just really fun for me and it's a really good way for me to release a lot of my energy. I've definitely started thinking in the game a lot more than I used to. I used to be just kind of like a fun thing that I did, but when I quit soccer in fifth grade and I kind of just really started focusing on it, like that's when it really became like a passion for me. It was something that I knew I really wanted to do. I've looked, I guess, in my life for other areas that I can kind of get the same high that I get when I play basketball and I can't find it, <laughs> you know. I definitely like the playing point guard because it allows me to use kind of like my IQ a little bit and you're always thinking like if, it, if you're not thinking about yourself, you're thinking about your teammate, like where they have to be when they have to make this cut. I'm kind of juggling a bunch of different details at one time, which I think is pretty cool. Mentally, she's a point guard. She, she likes playing the point, uh, but she's gotten, you know, bigger and grown. She, that when she was playing up, she was always one of the smaller kids, but now she's about 5'10 and she's got a, a big frame, so uh, she can play off the ball as well. She likes to go to the basket. She's a slasher. Uh, she's athletic. I definitely like to attack. And, and slash, and I also like creating out of that. I like to go, and I'm not one of those that likes to slow it down too much. I can do that, but um, I definitely have a lot of fun. Whether she's with her high school team, a summer team, or personal trainers, Jen impresses everyone with not just her work ethic, but also the confidence she approaches each workout with. The first thing I, uh, I check out is, is the mental state of a kid. Put them under a little uh, mental stress test. I just like to see where a kid's head is during uh, success and failure. And uh, she's, she's as sturdy as they get. She's uh, headstrong with it, very comfortable within her own skin. You make a mistake, she goes back and gets at it again. It's a lot of drive, and it, it, it equates to having grit. She's a really hard worker, so it kind of makes you as a parent want to work hard as well, you know, because she's, she's into it. She's always asking, can we go train? Can we get in the gym? Can we do this? So, you know, when they have a passion like that, it makes it a lot easier as a parent. While basketball is a big part of her and her family's lives, she hopes people know there's more to her than that. She's an excellent student with several interests. And when she made the USA U-17 team as a 15-year-old, some of the older players decided the highly intelligent youngster needed a nickname. And they nicknamed her Encyclopedia Brown because she was always, you know, talking about current events and, and things like that. Uh, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I know a lot of random facts about random things. There's definitely more to me than basketball. That's, I think, the thing, like, especially being an athlete, sometimes you get, like, a stereotype for just being an athlete and like that's the only thing you care about and that's like I said a huge like a huge part of my life but um I like I'm really I, I like drawing a lot like I like to cook like I, I do a lot of different things. Given her drive to learn both on and off the court it makes sense that Jenna wants a college that will challenge her academically and athletically. She signed with Stanford for next season and she'll continue to set high goals for herself there. In college I, I want to win a national championship that's definitely the goal. I want to be the best player I can be in college too. And if I, if I have the opportunity to play after that, it's really competitive on the girls' side, but if I had the opportunity to play, I would definitely do that and try to play in the WNBA as well. Talented, intelligent, and driven. There's no limit to what Jenna Brown might achieve in the future.